First, I wanted to apologize for leaving you guys hanging and disappearing for a while. The reason for that is that I'm currently visiting my family back in Europe, and well, they took priority over editing. But I finally found a moment to sit down and finish the second part of the Hakido Resurrection Saga, so here it is, hope you enjoy. It was already dark outside when we put the Hakido back together after servicing its noisy planetary gear, so water testing would have to wait till the next day. But the weather had a different idea. This one I dedicate to everyone that says we lead a stress-free life. tends to sail to anchor a lot, so in conditions like these our swing is simply ridiculous. But thanks to our monster of an anchor and chain we didn't drag an inch. So instead of testing, we hunkered down with only slightly sloshing cups of coffee and waited for the storm to pass. Which it soon did. Everything seemed to be working, so we headed for the island. Where we tied the dinghy as we usually do. Those of you who watched the previous quest probably already know what happened. If you did not, well, forgive me for using a shameless trick to increase our watch time and direct you to our previous video. Everything seemed good at first, but on the way back there was a cough, the lights went out, and we ended up paddling back. After we opened it up, we had experimental evidence to support the hypothesis that relying on one o-ring only, especially if it's a crappy one, is not the bestest of ideas. Może jakbym nie włączył, nie? Wszystko mokre. Of course, the design of the outboard, as with most things these days, seemed to follow a primary directive of making it as difficult to disassemble as humanly possible. Jakby to można było wyciągnąć jeszcze, nie? To jeszcze może, nie? To jest przylutowane ogólnie, silnik jest włożony, nigdy nie udało mi się wyciągnąć silnika. God forbid you could actually easily fix something you own. 
and to top it off, the corrosion was already setting in. Widzisz? Mhm. Że plus jest już zardzewiały. Już jest, już jest ten elektrolizer. A wczoraj tak nie było? Nie. Our hopes were not really high, but being the hopeful, naive optimist that I am, I managed to convince my amazing but rather pessimistic better half to still give it a try. Co to jest w ogóle za ten śrubka? To? No. To jest y, zajechany Torx. Okej. Okay. Co ty? No, kurwa. Unfortunately, the disassembly process was going nowhere, so we shifted gears and changed our approach. The recent heavy rains came in handy and we had plenty of fresh rainwater, so we added a generous amount of soap and gave the motor a thorough bath. Bartek still wasn't really convinced in the possibility of a positive outcome, but he really committed to cleaning it well. All that was left was to leave it to dry and wait. Zostawię to dla siebie. Wiesz? Mhm. It was time for the moment of truth. Again. Stawiałem, że już pójdzie jakiś magic smoke. Bardzo dziwne. It's alive! Myślę, że brzmi jak ta lala. Well, it sometimes pays off to be the naive, hopeful optimist. The motor was working, but there was still the question of what do we do about the crappy o-ring? After cleaning the groove very well, we put it back in. This time though, we sandwiched it between two thinly rolled layers of butyl tape. The phenomenal leak-preventing rubber-based magic. Mm-hmm. Ready, Chunks? And so, Hakido rose from the dead for the second time. Ognaj. Nie spopiał. Spopiał, tylko z głębin morski. Soli.
afternoon walks. It gives us a chance to stretch our legs, enjoy the soothing sounds of palm tree leaves, and sometimes even gather some supplies, which is equally as interesting as it is sad. Washed out trash is nothing new for us, but this one, well, this one was weird even for us. Proszę. Our guess? Some ship lost a container somewhere. To look for positives, we'll be able to measure tiny batches of epoxy guilt-free. And we didn't have to paddle back. The wind shifted and no amount of incense could help the swarms of noceums that descended on our humble boat. It was time to admit defeat and evacuate. Wydaje mi się, że to kulo de pojo, tudzież ten szkwał, co przeszedł. Though, thanks to the previous squall, it took a while, as the anchor was holding really well. Finally, it was out, and we could run as fast as our electric motor led us to this small island.